you're very welcome to episode four of dancing at the crossroads right here in sunny streatham sun's about to go down uh but it's been a beautiful day here crisp cold day uh but not as wet and windy as it was the last few weeks anyway i hope life finds you well hope you had a good week so far it's going to crack on with the first couple of songs here's one written by the late great johnny mccauley who we do a tribute show on cross series tv official tribute show around about march um late march I hope it might go into April, but hopefully March. Just waiting for a bit of publishing stuff uh, from the record companies. Uh, sort of out of my hands and out of Chris's hands, Chris McCauley, um, son of uh, late great Johnny McCauley. So we're just going to crack on with that, probably in March, um, please God. But anyway, it'll be very soon. So talking of Johnny McCauley, as I say, the late great Johnny McCauley, who pinned so many hits, actually 85 at least. Uh, different songs, uh, as I'm sure you're aware. Destination Don Eagle, Four Country Roads. I could go on forever and ever and ever. But anyway, as it's the start of the program, I won't, as we better crack on. But here we go. The first song, as I say, written by the late great Johnny McCauley, where the grass grows the greenest, and a great performance here by Dublin artist C.C. Cooper, and a great lively number to kick off Dancing to the Crossroads. So have a bit of a jive round the floor if you want. Feel free. <laughs> And that's sort of by a brilliant UK folk band, won numerous folk awards, BBC folk awards, and all over the world. And it's called Bellowhead, the band. And the song is called The New York Girls. And what a lively one it is, too, with very Irish influences. So hope you enjoy CC Goober with the Johnny McCauley pent hit, where the grass grows the greenest. Follow them by Bellowhead with New York Girls. Enjoy. <laughs> 